Hey how's it going guys? Lying in place here back again with another video. Now Dying Light 2 just got delayed and honestly if you want to see the tweet it'll be down below in the description. It'll be down there. Check it out. But uh, so Techland just came out today basically and they're just saying okay Dying Light 2 is just delayed until further notice. So they said in the next few months to let us know when it's coming out. Um, it's kind of strange though that we're seeing another game delayed. Now I think there's only two reasons why. One, they want to get the game obviously great. They want to make it perfect. And two, I think they're trying to get ready for the PS5 more than anything in the Xbox Series X right it's called. So I'm very excited about that. I think that's a great decision honestly on their part. I think that's going to be a lot easier for them anyway because all I had to do is just transport it over up buff the graphics a bit and that's mostly at the end of the day. But hopefully, like, I hope we do get some news of uh, E3 maybe for this game. I think we're going to definitely get some E3 news. Maybe it'll come out holiday 2020, if that. I mean, I can't see it coming out this summer or anything like that. So it's kind of crazy right now, now thinking about it, that PlayStation so far is leading the charge this year with games. I think they're the only big games coming out now because every game got delayed right now. Cyberpunk and the Avengers game are like the, one of the biggest games getting out this year, now they're delayed, and now we have The Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima. So that's going to be really good for them right now. I think that's going to be great. Now a lot of people were making jokes online, I was just uh, seeing in the Twitter comments, and a lot of people were saying that The Last of Us Part 2 is going to get delayed next and everything like that. I think Naughty Dog has it under, under their belt basically right now. I think they're basically fine with that. I think they have Last of Us Part 2 basically done at this point in time. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, it's going to be great for PlayStation again because they're going to have like probably that game come out July, August time. And that's going to be good for them. That's going to be making a lot of money if you think about it. If it comes out towards the end of August, PlayStation will be fine. I mean, if they want to do early September, they definitely can, but it'll be really strange. But to tell you, as we're talking about right now, is Dying Light 2. I don't I don't know. I didn't really see this game getting delayed. I feel like it's probably leading the charge of the rest of the games looking completely finished right now. I think the only thing is the frame rate needs to get buffed up a bit. I think that's what they're really saving it for. I'm not sure if they're going to run on a new engine for the PS5 or something. Because the game looks totally fine to me. But we'll see how it runs out overall. I just hope they complete it in a certain amount of time, you know. I mean, it's a big game. I know it's going to be done really well anyway, just like the first game. It was great and amazing. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Do you think it's a good decision or a bad decision? I have to delay it. I mean, you know, I'd rather have the game perfectly fine and finished. We want to polish and everything like that by the end of the day. But who knows? I think this is actually a good decision more than anything. I think PlayStation, though, as now thinking about it, is just going to be leading the charge like I just said like before, but it's crazy to me that a bunch of games are getting delayed. I'm not sure what the reason is, but it has to probably do with the new PS5 and the Xbox coming out this year. I don't see any other reason why you would just, like, delay those games. I mean, obviously they want to finish it and everything, because it's going to sell, obviously, pretty well dying late too. The first game just sold really well, and the game was actually really fun. I'm not even going to lie about that. A lot of people really didn't like it, though. It's kind of like not thinking about it more than anything it's Death Stranding like a lot of people are like oh the gameplay is going to be garbage and stuff like that game. but hopefully we still get some backstory on Kyle Crane that's all I want to know I just want to know what happened hopefully we get some confirmation on that but I don't know I think we're definitely going to learn about this game more at E3 I think they're going to be quiet for the next few months I really can't see Techland coming out saying okay the release date's August or something like that now I could definitely see that being the release date I'm not sure I think they'll probably push back till next year around this January time because the first game came out like in January of what was it 2015 2016-ish so I could definitely see that happening again and I, I would kind of prefer that honestly because then it could be one of the best games of next year, right? It could go for that uh, nominee. Because I think the game's going to be really good. So we'll see how it rolls out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. But I'm going to end the video here. I know it's like a pretty short video. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on this game. Do you think it deserves a delay? I think it definitely does. It's going to be a great game either way. But other than that, thank you for watching. This is Sub Button Helps Channel Grow. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.